In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Where were you when I laid the foundations of the earth? Tell me if you have understanding. Who determined its measurements? Surely you know. Or who stretched the line upon it? To what were its foundations fastened? Or who laid the cornerstone? When the morning stars sang together and all the sons of God shouted for joy. This verse says, Sons of God. Angels are the sons of God. And when the world was made, there was no man. So men were not the sons of God that this verse is talking about. The sons of God are the sons of God mentioned in Genesis 6. Angels were there when God created the heavens and the earth. He has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the Son of His love, in whom we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For by Him all things were created, that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created through him and for him. So let's go back. What is an angel? An angel is a spirit made by God because by him all things were created. Originally, they were created to worship God and obey him. Angels are invisible but have been seen on occasion in the Bible. The Bible does not say that people become angels when they die. The Bible says nothing about baby angels. However, angels are created beings. They were not birthed, so they don't need an infant stage. The Bible also says nothing about female angels. There's no need for a female angel because they're all immortal. They do not need to reproduce with each other and make children. They're all male. Maybe people envision angels to be women because women are more peaceful than men, but it's not what the Bible says, only what people think. When a group of people called the Sadducees came to challenge Jesus, asking, If a woman was married seven times, who would be her husband in the resurrection? Jesus said, For in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are like the angels of God in heaven. The following verses show that the angels are actually male. That the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were beautiful, and they took wives for themselves, all of whom they chose. There were giants on the earth in those days, and also afterward, when the sons of God came into the daughters of men, and they bore children to them. Those were the mighty men who were of old, men of renown. When angels had children with humans, their children would grow up to be giants. Okay, back to the beginning. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. This is continued in another book. I beheld the earth, and indeed it was without form and void, and the heavens, they had no light. I beheld the mountains, and indeed they trembled, and all the hills moved back and forth. I beheld, and indeed there was no man, and all the birds of the heavens had fled. Birds! Isn't this before God made birds? I beheld, and indeed the fruitful land was a wilderness, and all the cities were broken down at the presence of the Lord by his fierce anger. Cities! Who made the cities if there was no man? God was angry? Why? The Bible doesn't talk about this in the beginning of Genesis, but God made everything, including the angels, and they were there with God, shouting for joy when the earth was made, but their creation was not specifically mentioned. According to most interpretations of the Bible, Lucifer was an angel of God. The name Lucifer means bright morning star. Lucifer was close to God, but turned from God because of his pride. Lucifer had a throne of followers, presumably in heaven and on earth. He had rebellion in his heart, and wanted to be like God and overthrow God. He was later addressed as Satan, which means adversary or opponent. How you have fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning! How you are cut down to the ground, you who weaken the nations! For you have said in your heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God, I will also sit on the mountain of the congregation, on the farthest sides of the north, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds, I will be like the Most High, yet you shall be brought down to Sheol, to the lowest depths of the pit, 
those who see you will gaze at you and consider you, saying, Is this the man who made the earth tremble, who shook the kingdoms, who made the whole world as a wilderness and destroyed its cities, who did not open the house of its prisoners? Son of man, take up a lamentation for the king of Tyre and say to him, Thus says the Lord God, You are the seal of perfection, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. You were in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was your covering. The sardius, topaz, and diamond, beryl, onyx, and jasper, sapphire, turquoise, and emerald with gold. The workmanship of your timbrels and pipes was prepared for you on the day you were created. You were the anointed cherub who covers. I established you. You were on the holy mountain of God. You walked back and forth in the midst of the fiery stones. You were perfect in your ways from the day you were created, till iniquity was found in you. By the abundance of your trading, you became filled with violence within, and you sinned. Therefore I cast you out as a profane thing out of the mountain of God, and I destroyed you, O covering cherub, from the midst of the fiery stones. Your heart was lifted up because of your beauty. You corrupted your wisdom for the sake of your splendor. I cast you to the ground, I laid you before kings that they might gaze at you. You defiled your sanctuaries by the multitude of your iniquities, by the iniquity of your trading. Therefore I brought fire from the midst of you. It devoured you, and I turned you to ashes upon the earth in the sight of all who saw you. All who knew you among the people were astonished at you. You have become a horror, and you shall be no more forever. At some unknown point in time, war breaks out in heaven. The Bible says, And war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought with the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought, but they did not prevail, nor was there a place found for them in heaven any longer. So the great dragon was cast out, that serpent of old, called the devil and Satan, who deceives the whole world. He was cast to the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Jesus said to his disciples, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. When the Bible says, He shall be no more forever, that will be Satan's end. But now, Satan's not in hell. Satan has never been in hell. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came among them. And the Lord said to Satan, From where do you come? So Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking back and forth on it. When God asks a question, it's not because he lacks information. Many times God makes statements by asking questions. And then the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job, that there is none like him on the earth, a blameless and upright man, one who fears God and shuns evil? Satan is on the earth, searching for people to devour, like this person, Job. He will be cast out to hell, though. Then he will also say to those on the left hand, Depart from me, you cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. Hell is not ruled by Satan, but it was originally made for him and his angels, not for humans, to be punished. Hell is one place where God is not, for God says, Depart from me. Satan also has angels, originally created by God, who now follow him. These angels appear to be good, just like their master. And no wonder, for Satan himself transforms himself into an angel of light. Satan, still on the earth today, is called the adversary and the deceiver. He appears to be very beautiful and appealing, and in that way he deceives many. Anyone who follows in Satan's footsteps to sin to love their own life more than God, will end up in the same place that Satan will.